Hi, this is Gail, and today I'm going to introduce you ClimateModels.jl, which provides a simple interface to climate models of various complexity and completeness. We'll consider a model that range from a simple Julia function to a large code, ba code base written in Fortran, for example. The package provides an interface to this end, which, on, which also includes uh, the ability to track your workflows and in, in ingest various file formats. This allows for a standard workflow that consists in defining a model configuration data structure and then calling a sequence of setup, build, and launch methods. The idea is that this um, simple sequence uh, allows you to cast pretty much any climate modeling effort into. We're going to consider uh, different examples in this notebook. I will emphasize uh, the first one, a Julia function, and the third, a Fortran code base, and touch on the other two. So let's start with the case of a Julia function that uh, generates a random walk with n uh, steps taken randomly on a 2D plane. This cell starts by defining the model config uh, data structure with its number of steps and the name of the function, uh, which is a function that takes in a model config object. Then it calls the setup, builds, and launch methods. And what is depicted in this uh, cell output is the model config summary. The plot here is for a hundred time steps. If I change this, you will see that the plot updates, as you would expect in the case of this reactive Pluto notebook, uh, but also the ID, which is unique for every simulation has been changed. And that leads to using a different folder for the output. So if I do that again, you will see that everything updates accordingly and the workflow has been recorded in a different folder. Showing you the version that is in the documentation, I can illustrate the log of, of the workflow steps. In this case, uh, for a kind of a trial and error scenario like I just did. The second example that is linked into this notebook is for a Julia package called shadowweathers.jl. Uh, um, it is rather similar, so I will uh, move along to the third example, which considers a large fortune-based uh, code called the MIT General Circulation Model, which is widely used and representative of climate models um, in general. The workflow, the workflow is very similar. Here you have the setup and build methods. Um, and here you have the launch method. In the case of this configuration that I've selected, um, this is an atmosphere simulation. And you see that temperature increases over the few time steps that I ran. Again, as before, um, there is a unique identifier attached to this simulation. If I change the model configuration to something else, you will see that gets updated. And so now we have a new uh, run directory uh, where the output will be stored. And everything else is going to upload to update accordingly in this package. And so the plot will now show, once it updates, um, carbon. Um, in the ocean increasing as a result of carbon emission that um, we have put in the atmosphere. There it is. The fourth example considers instead of rerunning a model, retrieving model output uh, in, from the cloud or from local storage. 
Um, this is a very common use case in climate modeling when, for example, we want to use model output to do an analysis uh, pipeline. So climate model supports that kind of workflow as well. And another similar example is when you take model output from one model to drive a second one. This is in fact what we just did in example two with this uh, carbon uptake example. So to summarize, ClimateModels.gl provides a uniform and simple uh, way to proceed with different climate modeling tasks and, and models of different complexities. You create a model configuration data structure, and then you call the setup, build, and launch method sequence. The content of each of those steps might depend on the complexity of the model and might be specific to a given model. Um, but the key goal here is to let the user leverage all of those models um, equally simply. The key features that enable this uh, uniformization and, and simplicity are the interface that's implemented in the package, which uh, supports tracking your workflow through a Git uh, folder uh, inside of the run folder. The package also supports various um, file format for the inputs to your modeling workflows. And it's designed to be small using tools that are familiar to the modeling community, the climate modeling communities, and to be in tune with their practices, such as using Fortran models, for example. What the package I believe achieves is a standardization and a simplicity in climate modeling workflows. It supports reproducibility. Um, it is already uh, composable. Uh, you just have to daisy chain different model configurations and you can pass one to another through the input parameter. Interactivity comes from uh, the Julia ecosystem. And I would emphasize that this is really in my mind an effort to bridge between communities of people running um, climate models that have the result of a long development phase and have um, a lot of users, and the Julia community we have who has uh, developed extensive and, and fascinating new tools to take um, climate modeling to a different space. What's next? Um, I'm already working on extending the model lineup. Here are some examples, both on the Julia side and on the Fortran side. And then the next will be collaborating with other groups to implement the interface. If you want to know more about this, uh, please try the package on Binder, for example, on your local machine. And here are the links um, for you to, to look at. Thank you. Goodbye.